Play me or die now. Boo. <laughs> Mama. Yeah. I don't want me to stick my diamond. She won't. Good morning, I fam. Welcome to today's vlog. It's a busy old day here in the Ingham household. We got back from our trip a few days ago. Yesterday, Isabel had her final maths IGCSE exam. A few of you guys have been asking how she did with that exam. She actually said that she found the second paper easier than the first one, so that's really good. And she feels like she did better, so that's good news. The girls have had their school dance show rehearsal, so they absolutely cannot wait for this weekend when they've got their first new school dance show. Um, it's it's oh they just absolutely love being on stage it's so lovely to watch their excitement yeah, yeah? that bit can move and that bit wow jace is currently sat playing with this dino with mila aren't you yes but it these can move they're not they stuck together. Anyway, the girls are very, very, very excited for that and we can't wait to see their show this weekend. I've just spent the whole morning packing up baby and me orders. You okay? <laughs> You're such a lovable boy. Uh, oh no, that's too much. Well, that's too much. <laughs> I came in because Mila needed feeding, jumped in the shower. Chris is now out in our little makeshift office, putting all the packages I'm packed up this morning into like post office bags because we're going to drop them off at the post office today. We also need to go and pick up our caravan, not our new one, our old one. Our new one's still not ready yet, but it will be at the end of this month, which we're so excited about. But we do need to take off a few things on our old caravan to make sure it's ready because we're part exchanging it. Who was that? Was it Isabel? You know it's Isabel when it's just a shadow walking past. <laughs> what just happened? So so I was just pugging with Jay. So I said to Jay, Jay, can I have a little hug? And he said, yeah. And he gave me one and I went, oh, like that. And then he went, no, he sat right up and went, no, Isabel. That's too much. And I was like, all right then. He went, that's too much. <laughs> Look at my big girl. Look at my big baby. <laughs> You're so clever. Yes, you are. But Mila learned a new trick recently, and I think this girl is going to be crawling soon. Are you a big girl? Oh. Yes, you are. Let me see if I can get her to do it. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Can we get this? Come on, that's it. Clever girl, come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, she fell down. Watch how she gets back up, it's so cute. There we go, Splits baby! <laughs> you are such a clever girl! You are such a clever girl! <laughs> So one of the things we were supposed to be doing today is picking up our caravan that we've sold and bringing it back here so that we can take off the roof rack and stuff, ready to go on our new caravan when it's arrived. But today, unfortunately, has got away with us. We didn't realize, oh, we forgot that. Is. Yeah, mine. It's not actually, it's Premier Pros. Oh yeah, it's actually, no, it is actually Sarah's fault. So she laid, she sat on the sofa with Mila, fed her, and then she fell asleep with Mila, and then Jace climbed on top of her, and they all fell asleep in like this big pile on. It was very funny. Got a picture, but I don't know if she's gonna let me share it with you, so I'll just have to, if it's there, it's there. She'll let me, if it's not, it's not. Sorry, guys. Anyway, series of everything today is delayed as going to get the caravan to the point now where it's too late to go get the caravan. So we're not doing that today. I'm gonna sound like a proper goon right now, but I literally spent two hours picking every single weed out of our drive before we went away every single weed. I made it look absolutely banging. And please, that wind is ridiculous. Okay, let's go back behind the wall. And every single one of them's going back. Right, we're gonna have to just face the wind. What is that about? What are all these little, what is that about, man? All of them everywhere. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. And what you think you're doing, I do not know. But you ain't growing in my garden no more. Don't even talk to me about my 90 pound trees that are just dead. Totally and utterly dead. Like what on earth is this? Look at them all. It's like weed breeding season or something. I literally had the tractor out yesterday sorting the grass out, but what is this about? Anyway, needless to say, it's time to take matters up a level, sort these fools out. I'm not getting on my hands and knees and doing that again. Uh uh. So I went on Amazon, bought myself some heavy duty pesticide with a big old backpack and gun, like a Ghostbuster with a proton pack. And I'm gonna get it loaded up and sort all these fools out. So we've been a bit busy today, guys. I'm not gonna lie. 
Haven't really had a chance to pick up the camera and film too much, which I hate when it gets this time of the day and we've not filmed too much. I've got a few Amazon packages to open, so thought I'd, you know. I want to open them. Okay, thought I'd open them with you guys. I actually can't remember what I've ordered online, so um, let's go. A little swimsuit for Milo, which is so cute. Whilst we were in Dubai, I realized I really don't like UV swimsuits that are short sleeved because I was constantly panicking. I know it's because it was mega, mega hot in Dubai, but I was really panicking all the time. I don't want her arms to burn. I don't want her arms to burn. And we did keep her in the shade if like we were sat around the pool, etc. I was constantly panicking that she was gonna get sunburn on her arms. So I said, I want her arms covered up when we go on our next little trip. So I ordered a few of these actually. They're on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. If anyone's interested. These are fantastic when you've got young children to, when you go down to the pool on the morning or the beach, put a little small amount of water in, leave it in the sun to warm up if the pool's cold or just in the sun to warm up anyway. And then they can still play in the water to cool down, but you don't necessarily have to get in the pool. And they can sit in this and they can put all their toys in it and they can play happily in this little pool whilst at the side of your sunbed. Okay, package number two. We got a couple of books for Mila. The other books must be in the other box. But these are such cute books. So I bought her the Where's My Duck? And I think I got that from a garden centre before we went on holiday. She just loves them so, so much. They're only cheap as well. They're like £4, something like that. Giraffe! Giraffe. And the little flaps are just really, really cute. They don't rip. They're not paper. They're like a, a, a felt material. So she really loves these books so much. So I ordered her that one. Um, What next? Packing cubes. Oh my goodness. These have been so... So revolutionary when packing for so many children and I will never go back to not using these. Okay, so this is the large one. They hold so much clothes as well. I used the small one for Mila and I managed to fit like 12 outfits just in the small one. So this is the large one. You get laundry pouches as well. I actually use these for like nappies, bobbles, baby wipes. And then when we'd use them, we can just fill them with your used anything. Or you can use them as toiletry bags as well. You get three, so really good. And then you get three sizes. So this is a small one. I just love them. You can fit so much inside them. And I love how it keeps everything organised. Because there's nothing worse when you go to a suitcase. And you're trying to find something. And you're just ruffling all the clothes. And they all end up in one big ball. Um, I, just, I just like it better, having these cubes. So I ordered two two more sets of those. And then finally I ordered some of these little baby bands, which are just Daddy, basically some... It, you have to turn this around. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> so they're just earmuffs basically up to age three years. I think on the list it said three months. My monkey. <laughs> three months to three years. And in the other box was some more of these books that I was just telling you about. Some of these are on sale at the moment. Like this one was only three pounds. Such a bargain for such lovely books. Um, and then I think the other ones were about three or four pound as well. And then I also ordered some, some lilos. And these are like revolutionary lilos. <laughs> I'm just making that up. That's not a fact. They're not actually revolutionary. But when I saw these, I was like, that's amazing. So I'm going to open one up and show you. Okay, I shouldn't really be opening this up to be fair because... It's not going to fit in the case. But basically, it's a lilo, but the only thing that you inflate is the end and the top. So the bit where you put your head and the bit where you put your feet. And the middle bit is like a big net. This one's got a shark on it. And I don't know what this one's got on it. I can't remember. I think a unicorn or a um, flamingo or something like that. So I won't open them fully out, but... I thought these were so cool. Not only do lilos take up a massive amount of space in your suitcase, but you also can't ever deflate them properly and they often pop as well so I think this will really minimize that chance and they were a two pack on Amazon for like 15 pound and I thought that was a really good bargain so yeah thought I'd get those as well is that everything oh my gosh just found another package like just a little envelope and this one was in it these are so good I think I've ordered her five in total there should be some coming tomorrow but honestly obviously I've not put the money yet but they feel like such good quality and they're so pretty and they've got full length arms, which I'm so happy about. And they're good on the neck as well. They look like they're high on the neck. You want to keep their skins, obviously, covered up as much as possible when they're so little. Look how cute they are! This is the other one. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Look at the back. Oh jeez, how cute is this? Do you like it? Yeah! 
Which one do you like best? They're both so pretty, aren't they? Yes. You like this one? I think I like this one too. It's so bright and yeah, but, vibrant. Yeah, but that one is boring. I mean, <laughs> that was boring. Um, yeah. I will link everything down below in case anyone's interested in anything that I've shown here. But um, I'm super happy. I always feel like Christmas when the Amazon man arrives, especially when I've ordered a few bits and I can't remember what I've ordered. It's always really exciting when um, get to it. Okay, weeds. It's time to go. Okay, got my little Ghostbuster backpack. Kind of not really, but you know what I mean. I've got my little blaster. Let's go. Because the show is this Saturday. My dance show is this Saturday. This Saturday to Sunday night. On Saturday, I've got two shows. We've got to do the same show twice. One in the morning, one at night, and then on Sunday, we've just got one during the daytime. Not sure when. I haven't done one of these shows in three and a half years almost. No, two and a half years almost. I mean, two and a half years. So I'm very, very not excited because I belong on a stage. I love dancing, I love being on a stage, I love being in front of crowds, I've got confidence, like I'm not never ner like nervous to do things like this. I just love performing in front of people and it's a very big stage. We went we did a rehearsal the other day and it's a very big stage and I'm very, very excited. There's not one bit of part of me that's nervous or anything because like I said, I belong on a stage. I love being in front of people and doing things. Anyway, I'm gonna show you my dance costumes because I'm very very in love! These are probably my favourite costumes I've ever had for any show I've ever done because they're just amazing. There's only one that's a bit boring, it's a bit like, but it does match the theme of the dance. I'm in four dance shows this year. Mm. Tap, ballet, theatre craft and summer, jazzy summer, I don't know the name. <laughs> but here is my dance costume for a dance called Popular, which is theatre craft, and I'm so excited. When we're doing the rehearsals, we all of me and my friends got all in the wrong costume, and and the teacher was like, guys, you're in the wrong costume, and we had to run back and do like a massive quick change. It was kind of scary. But this is my um, costume for theatre, well, that looks so weird. Um, but this is my costume for theatre craft. It's kind of like um, a leotard thing with sparkly, and then it's got like this big outskirt. It looks much better on, it looks rubbish there. But it's really, very, very nice, and theatre craft is my favourite because it's like acting, and it's called Popular. The song is from the Wicked Theatre thing, whatever it's called. But yes, I'm very, very, very excited to perform that one because it's my favourite because acting is my dream. I, my dream is to be an actress. So, um, my next one is for... Oh my gosh, where's my... Oh, it's fine. Okay, so this one is for my jelly thing. Thing. I'm not sure what it's called. So I've got this ginormous, like ginormous, like this would fit Dad. <laughs> this ginormous baggy t-shirty thingy, vesty thingy, and then a black leotard to go under it. <laughs> Don't want to see my belly button. <laughs> and then cycling shots to go with. And it does match the dance. It's not my favourite costume. It does match the dance though. And then I've also got shimmer tights. Uh, these are the footless ones. I literally have to do a quick change into two costumes, but one of them's footless. For that dance, I just showed the costume for it's footless tights. So I need footless shimmer tights. So that's very annoying because I've got to do a massive quick change. Um, and I've got to take all that off, all of them tights off, and then all the new tights back on. It's a bit stressful. Anyway, then I've got tap. And me and either are in a tap dance together this year, even though we're in totally different grades. Me and either are in a tap dance together. And I'm very excited. So, I'm going to show you the costume for it. Why is it inside out? That I don't know, not, not, do not know. But me and Alex so excited, we always practice it together. Um, <laughs> this is for tap. It's all gone inside out, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Ah, I <laughs> it's so nice. I wish I could keep these, but we can't keep them. Ah, they're so nice, I love it. It's like all puffs out. It's really big when it's on. It's like really puffy and twirly. And then for my tap shoes, they're even decorated. Even decorated. I love them. Okay, and then for my ballet, last but not least, this is a full on tutu. So that's very, very, very fun. I absolutely love tutus. Pink is not my favourite colour, to be honest. But I do like the costume very much. Now, it's not pumping up right now. It's normally like that when it's on. 
it looks like that. Like, it comes right up like a tutu. Um, but that's it. It's cute and sparkly and has the tutu bottom. I would try this on, but I dance to dance cheat teacher said don't really try them on i mean try them on but don't wear them because we don't want to get them dirty ruined or broke because they're to rent and we don't want them to be all creased for the show so i need to fold all these back up oh and that goes along with my ballet shoes and ballet shimmer tights which are foot anyway that is all of my things i've got this big box to put them all in and that is it i am so excited for my show so excited anyway I'm about to go get ready for bed and watch some telly, make a cup of tea and go to bed. Good night for me guys.